Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Lava, good to see everybody. And welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All right, my wonderful collective. So let's do another reading for you. Let's start with advice for you. Advice for you, and then we go from there. Okay, we have Ember. Ember is give it to God. Take a deep breath. And on the exhale, release the situation to God for healing and answers. Okay. So give your situation to God. In the bottom of the deck, I have clear quartz, which means let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you an important message and guidance. Okay. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. What energies are you currently in? What energies are you currently in? What's happening? How are you feeling? Emperor. Right off the bat. Emperor. Nine of Wands. We have Seven of Wands. Well, you could be masculine. You could be masculine. You could be feminine. Okay, it's it will resonate for both um, masculine or feminine energies as well. But you're you you are strong in your power. Initially, the way universe sees you is that you are strong. So relevantly, whatever it is you're dealing with, um, you can manage it. Right? You're strong in your power. But I think it was nine of wands and seven of wands. You're tired. Okay, you're tired to stand enough for your truth. You feel exhausted. Okay, you're tired. You're tired potentially to reason with certain individuals. But overall, the universe sees you as an emperor, as being strong in your power. Now, let's take a look here. I will take a clarification here. What exactly emperor and a strings card? We have mature woman. We have a gift. Okay. And in the bottom, I have coffin. So you could be yourself, mature woman. You can be, it doesn't matter what age you are. You could be a young, wonderful female. You can be an older female. You can be a mature female. Um, but the thing is, you have been originally given that gift, the gift of endurance and the gift of strength. Your positions are strong. God never gives you what you cannot handle. Another thing, what you need to understand that whatever the situation you've been dealing with by the coffin will come to an end. This situation will come to an end. Okay. Overall, understand that you are on the right path. Uh, maintain your strong positions of authority and power and strengths. Do not allow people to suppress you because I feel like certain individuals potentially may try to suppress you. Right? By the strengths art. Some individuals do not want you to speak up. They do not want you to speak your truth. But overall, your positions are strong. This is the gift. One of your amazing gifts, incredible gifts that you have obtained and inherited from birth is to, to be to be strong, a strong individual. So there is a situation that you have been fighting for a very long time. This is a very exhausting situation is soon to come to an end. Now let's take a look. What is the situation you're dealing with that is definitely going to end? What is the situation? We have star card. We have nine of cups. We have cave of pentacles. We have nine of swords. And we also have ace of pentacles. We have four of pentacles. A lot of pentacles here, a lot of money. You know, I feel like it's literally a battle, a battle for finances here. Who Who is fighting? Who doesn't want to let go? Who does not want to let go? Yeah, tower moment here comes up. It's ending. Whoever it is that is currently fighting with you, or trying to hold their strong positions, 
these individuals have a big dreams and big desires. They saw that, that, you know, it would be easy to outsmart you. But, you know, you, you, you're a hard peanut here. You're tough. They cannot, they cannot do anything about it. And by the tougher moment, definitely these individuals are going to have to walk away. They have to walk away and bear the consequences. See, Six of Swords, they have to leave. It's time for this situation to end. That's exactly what the message I get here. That this cannot be continued on for a very long time. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Two of Pentacles. I have here, they're showing me some sort of individual here, King of Wands. Quite a manipulator, okay? Wanted potentially uh, profit, profit on you. Cause you these problems. And now dealing with this judgment, deal with karma. And of course the ending death card. So this individual will leave you alone, whoever that individual is. That once again acted specifically from a desire of financial gain. Only wanted finances here. So the first message for you is to, to know that this is going to come to an end. This The reason why it's taking so long, because nobody wants to lose their strong positions. The whole conflict in your situation was in regards of finances and in regards of money. And often people do not want to let go, but they have to let go. All right, let's take a look what other changes coming towards you. What other changes coming towards you? We have the star. It's your wish fulfillment. It's your wish fulfillment that you have been waiting for a very long time. Whatever it is you're wishing for. Whatever it is you wish for. But the temperance often represents a patience. And you have been patient, I think, in this situation. We also have Ace of Cups. Maybe some of you wishing for true love. What is this Ace of Cups? It's a fulfillment. It's emotional fulfillment. To be emotionally fulfilled. We have High Priestess. Your inner knowledge. You know exactly what you want. When a high priestess comes in here and a star, this also represents that whatever it is you deeply wish for will come true because of your intelligence, your psychic abilities, your intuition. Uh, you played your cards right, taking into consideration this whole shenanigans has been going on because of finances. And we have Ace of Cups. And we have also Secret Admire, Cave of Cups. It's a new romantic partnership. <clears throat> new offer. I feel new offer that you're not going to uh, potentially advertise or let other people know who this person is. Um, it's a relationship that is based on, on, uh, on destiny, on love. What is this Ace of Cups? Some sort of a new beginning here for you. A new beginning, a new cycle in your life. After a long period of soul searching and the Emperor come in. And the Empress. It's your Emperor. It's your other half. We have Two of Cups. Two of Cups. So I feel like majority of you will um, going to have this relationship and meet your other half. But by the high priestess, it's going to be a relationship that you will not advertise. You know, sometimes people post a lot of things on Facebook and social media right away immediately. Oh, check out my new boyfriend or my new husband. This is not going to be the case. I feel like the person you will meet, a lot of people won't even know who this person is. But that person is going to be your other half your soulmate. You have been alone for a very long time. You have been soul searching. Uh, you had your experience in bad relationship. 
Um, I also see here some sort of community getting, getting involved in your past with Ten of Pentacles uh, that almost throw you off, you know. So you you done your share of knowledge and soul searching. And I feel like the only sink you're looking for at this specific moment is to, to, to be in love, to be loved, to be loved by who you are, okay? So there's definitely going to be your other half here, your partner, your lover. See, this period of loneliness is coming to an end. And once again, you becoming strong in your power. After this whole difficult transformation for you come to an end, and it was very difficult, and that's why it is a time for it to end. You will immediately going to be with this uh, other person. This other half. Okay. Okay. The manipulator in your past. Okay. That potentially, like I said... Um, tried and attempted to, to put these restrictions in your life, okay, will be detained and restrained. I feel like you leave. There's going to be distance between your past person, because it showed me some sort of masculine uh, from your past, um, that constantly try to cause you problems. I feel like you're going to relocate. You're going to relocate. But I also feel with this manipulator, this individual will try to do some other attempts. Or maybe this person did some sort of attempts to continue uh, being in this position of Eight of Swords. Through manipulations. So I feel like that person is going to leave you. Leave you alone. And of course, right after that, it's a new beginnings. New beginnings for you. What did this manipulator wanted on the first place? What did this manipulator wanted? Uh, moon card magician is under karma. I've done some sketchy stuff. There's also a female comes up in here. By the moon card and magician, these individuals manipulated a lot of people. Um, so taking into consideration that these people have done everything they could to make sure that you will never be happy because I feel like the only intention that these individuals have had is to prevent your wish fulfillment, okay? And once again, they're under judgment. They're under judgment and under karma for what they have done. By the moon card and magician could represent anything, could represent magic, uh, or they will try to attempt to do one more sink, like a last sink, so you have to be attentive and um, make sure that, you know, you do cleansings and just simply protect your energy. There will be one more strike from this individual. They're showing me a female here, Queen of Swords, and some sort of King of Cups. They will try to do like a last trade, last resort for them to try to do something against you. But I do not feel like they're going to be successful because they are under karma here. Okay. Now, was there anything done here against you? Um, magically, I do not see that, but I do see that... These people have spread a lot of rumors about you, okay? Sneaky stuff, manipulative stuff behind your back intentionally. Uh, so that that's the only thing as far as, as they're going to go, really. Just spreading rumors. Spreading rumors involving third party. These individuals are, like I said, were obsessed with causing you harm. It's almost like they're wowed to each other to destroy your life. Why? Question is why? Well, because of their own sick positions, right? They wanted to be favored. They wanted to be favored. Favored by whom? Favored in what? A lot of conflicts has been going on from your past. I think you're just ready. You're just ready to move on. Just ready to move on here. Yeah, Ten of Swords comes up. So nothing they can do. Nothing they can do. They will leave you alone. So once again, your wish fulfillment is definitely without doubt is going to come true. What other messages I have for you? 
self-acceptance. And we have miracles. Self-acceptance. The moment you learn how to accept yourself, good, bad, and the ugly, miracles started to happen in your life. You have done a lot of work. You have done a lot of soul searching, shadow work. Um, you really look into within yourself and ask yourself, what could have I changed uh, to be truly who I am? So uh, it did not took you a day, it did not took you months. The work you have done on yourself is a truly a miracle. It's an incredible work and you should be proud of yourself. Because I do feel like you've done tremendous self-reflecting work. You changed. It was a person before and now. Not the same people. Even your family members or even your friends can no longer recognize you. It's never going to be like it's used to be. So the fact that you accepted yourself for who you are, you were able to unleash that inner potential within yourself. And that is truly a miracle, right? And what is yet to come into your life will be a miracle on its own. Because you are going to meet your soulmate, your other half. What is this self-acceptance is about? What is this self-acceptance is about? Ace of Swords. You cut off individuals, individuals that constantly try to cause you problems. You accepted that there is individuals who did what they have done against you, whether it is out of jealousy or envy. You accepted that fact. And that is truly a miracle. Um, in regards to tower moment, that no tower, no matter how hard, your enemies try to work against you, and they have here, okay? It was five of swords. They did. They, they did repeatedly, this community and this third party individuals try to destroy your life. The fact that you actually survived what you have survived is a miracle on its own. It's your wisdom. You understand? The fact that you today stronger than you used to be, taking into consideration that you were literally uh, a subject, an object of these individuals causing you harm, and you survived. What else? Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, and we have the sun. You see that? You're still happy. I feel like the main objectives of your enemies is to, to ensure that you will, will never accept yourself. That your self-image and self-perception of who you are will be so destroyed that you will never ever find a way to be happy. But clearly it's not the case. You only groan through this difficult situation. That's exactly what Three of Pentacles and Sun is. It's you learned who you are by these difficult tower moments, by these difficult destructions that was intentionally conducted against you. And, and that is, like I mentioned before, is a miracle. But there will be time in your life when you will be thankful, thankful for what you've been through. Because if not your enemies... You would have never walked the path that you were always meant to be. And often this transformation in our lives happen and taking place because we stand on the wrong path. At one point, whatever that time of a period was for you, you have to accept and admit to yourself that I did take in the wrong path. I was not walking my path. So... Universe sends out these difficult tests and difficult transformation that you, matter of fact, successfully passed. You grown through this situation. You found your true path. You know exactly what you want. You, you become true to yourself. There is no such a definition in your life as settle. You're not the one to settle for anybody. Perhaps unlike you were before. Right? Right? 
maybe before you were giving uh, opportunities for individuals or partnership that deep down you did not want it to be in this relationship and partnership, but not the case today. So through so this learning process, and, and that's what life is all about. It's never a constant process. After one battle, there's going to be another battle. But what will be different moving forward in your life is that you will always remain true to yourself. It's your self-acceptance that matters. Your self-value. Because you learn how to value yourself. I feel like you've given away before so much to other people and never received nothing in return. Let's see who you were before this transformation. Who were you before this transformation? Because you're not the same person. Who were you before? Page of Cups. You were so open. You were so open to other people. And, and people never had this good intention against you. They took advantage of your kindness. Never... Be kind to those who did not deserve your kindness. Be kind to those who truly will appreciate your kindness. And this is something you have learned. You don't have to be anybody but yourself. You don't have to change who you are for somebody else. You don't have to change your style, your image because of somebody else and being afraid not to be accepted. Because the right people will accept you for who you are. I feel like in your past... You helped too much. And a lot of narcissistic, selfish psychopaths would take advantage of that. They have not given you nothing back in return. But I feel like you simply give out yourself too much. And when we lose so much energy by helping others, eventually we get drained out. Because kindness... And the way energy works, it's about giving and taking something back in return. There's going to be, there has to be a constant flow of balance in our energy. If we constantly give everything and get nothing back, guess what happens? Tower moments happens. Destruction happens. So once again, you learn that lesson that before you help anybody, you will think hundred times whether or not that person will truly appreciate your help. This is just simply how you were raised. Is this is how you were raised? Is this is how you were raised to help everybody without asking nothing in return? Four of Swords. King of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe your father taught you this way. Maybe your father is just like you. It's how you were taught to be patient. To be patient with people. Not to take any actions. Let people take advantage of you without giving anything back to you. This is coming from your family. I'm not saying being kind is a bad thing. It's a good thing. But you have to understand that not everybody will take your kindness with love and appreciations instead of taking it for granted, and then on top of that, make you as a scapegoat. So this time, your kind heart, you inherited from your father, from your family member. Your father was like you. You potentially could be alike like your father. Your family. So once again, as I mentioned before, <clears throat> the hermit, the hermit, you know, soul searching. And you have you have done quite a bit of shadow work. You walked with this lampet of your face in this dark world. Seeking answers. Trying to find out who you are. And you have found out who you are. So this is how you used to be. Now let's take a look who you are today. Who you are today. Queen of Wands. Action-orientated, powerful, strong, wise, intuitive. May potentially have magical abilities. Often Queen of Wands represents an individual with heightened intuition. You're, you now finally 
standing strong in your power because you know you have that want of fire that comes from within your heart. The lessons you needed to learn is simple. Always listen to your heart. Never go against your heart. Follow your heart. How else does the universe see you today? Who you are today? Three of Pentacles. Two of Wands. I feel like a, a lot of people fascinating by you. Okay? You have a good negotiating skills. You're, go you're good with people. You can deflate any situation. You're intelligent. You're smart. You were born to lead. To lead. And again, ace of swords. Your wisdom. The most incredible gift in you is your wisdom. And it takes once again truly a wise person to be a kind person. Not wise individuals, they're not kind. Right? They're takers. There's two types of people, givers and takers. You were fallen category of taken, sorry, given all the time. And the karmics of yours that cause you this tower moment and constantly trying to destroy your life, they are takers. But now, once again, you have understand that you don't have to give your kindness. That wasn't in rooted into you since childhood. This is how you've been taught by your mother, by your sister, by your aunt, by your dad. Now you learned that relationship, no matter what these relationships are, personal, romantic, business relationship, it's about fair give and take. Everything has to be fair. You get what you give. If you take things from me and give me nothing in exchange, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And you're ready to cut anybody off out of your life. And also by three ace of swords, you cut off multiple individuals out of your life for that specific reason. Okay. So this is the message I have for you today. Be wise. Love yourself. Accept yourself for who you are. Do not uh, look back and um, feel sad about what happened. These difficult transformations only entered your life for a specific reason to, to, for you to accept yourself. All right. Okay, my wonderful collectives. Uh, this is the message I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.